Let's do questions. I'm not going to ask you not to ask me silly questions. Can I ask you not to ask me silly questions? It makes you ask me silly questions. I'd rather you ask me about psychology, narcissism, and CPTSD, but you're probably going to ask me about dating, aren't you? Uh, 19 month olds are not uh, supposed to individuate. I'm seeing my surgeon tomorrow, and a lot in terms of dates depends on what he says to me because I have a lot to do this month before going to America. Cats, Netflix, and wanking. They're okay. A bit creepy. All right. well, I have a cause for that. It's uh, called Unplugged from the Matrix of Narcissistic Abuse. You have to grieve. You have to grieve for everything that you lost. It's not easy. And you have to deliberately dismantle the shared fantasy, which is quite painful. Don't. Nobody else is. Busy. Rather more chaotic than I would like. But on the up and up. So generally good. I suspect there's rather too much about the situation that I don't know to be able to give you advice responsibly. I'm sorry. Shots fired, run for cover. Boobs, um, on my head. I identify as a tithead. Is there anything more boring than other people's medical issues? I had an ACL surgery that was successful, but there was another issue with my knee that was worse than the ACL that they tried to fix, but it might not have been fixed, so I have to give you a camera. What worksheets? You should probably uh, direct that one to uh, Barney at helpdesk at spartanlifecoach.info. I know not of worksheets. Hmm. I, I really couldn't tell you. Um, my tendency would just be to keep working, but you should do what you feel is best for your mental health. Seven, 7.5. Um, you should watch out for the mental health issues that could be caused by loneliness and uh, see if you see them popping up in your life. What are them? You'll ask, what are the mental health issues that are potentially caused by loneliness? All of them, all of them are exacerbated by, exacerbated, yes, by loneliness and isolation. I haven't heard that expression for such a long time. It's such a gentle way of telling somebody they're mad. You're loopy. Well, there's a book coming out on September the 6th that's on codependency. Um, so maybe in the future, yes. No, but I trained pretty hard today and I'm in a very soporific state. It's quite pleasant. I should probably go to bed soon. Is that marketing or laziness? That's uncharitable. Incompetence? Oh, that's mean. Well, it's down to me and I didn't do it. Why? Because I had other stuff to do that was more pressing. High grade zero on the back and sides. And then you leave the top quite long. And then you take aqueous wax and you use your fingers, not a comb or a brush. And then you sort it out. It, it's, it's such a uniquely um, damaging form of uh, abuse that damages parts of the, the self that uh, can tell the difference between fantasy and reality. It damages the self-image. It damages the confidence. It can hijack the superego. Um, it definitely will emotionally dysregulate the person. It, it, it damages a lot of very fundamental processes in, in the target. Why am I telling you this? I think if your friend came back from a combat zone and had PTSD, you wouldn't be asking a guy on Instagram, how can I help my friend deal with combat-related PTSD? You just send them to a specialist. This should be taken as seriously. Obviously, being in a combat zone is different to narcissistic abuse. Um, but it should be taken as seriously in terms of the effect it has on the, uh, on, on the target. Um, stop being so nice, not just with them, with, but with everybody. Uh, stop feeling, that, you know, fight the idea that you have to give parts of yourself away to make other people feel okay. You're an adult, they're an adult, you're not there to make them happy. Stop smiling so much. Stop being so friendly. Go and do your job. Um, and stop giving. When you smile and you're friendly and you're warm, you're giving parts of yourself away. You're fawning. Just don't. It's a job. With this person and their mood swings, just be cold and indifferent and professional. Stop smiling. Stop asking them if they're okay. Stop trying to make it okay. Give up making it okay. That person is an adult with responsibilities. You're an adult with responsibilities. They don't pay your rent. You pay your rent. They tie their shoelaces. They blow their own nose. 
you tie your shoulders, shoulders, and you blow your own nose. So be boundaryed and be distant, even emotionally cold. It's nothing to do with you. It's not your responsibility. You are not responsible for people or scenarios that you have no control over. Don't let anybody try and convince you differently. Thank you, sir. Thank you. It sounds like a psychological question, but I actually think this is a philosophical question. And this is a philosophical exploration you might want to make with another person or with other people. Um, what do we do with resentment? How do we deal with resentment? What is the morality of the situation? What do your family owe you? What do you owe them? What is right? What is wrong? Should they acknowledge you? Why should they acknowledge you? Explore, develop, flex those muscles. You'll feel better. Um, again, this is a philosophical exploration. There are muscles here that haven't been developed. Um, you might not have had a very strong masculine figure in your life when you were growing up. You have the right to say no. You have the right to cut people off and cut people out of your life, even if they're family members. If that's what you deem to be the right thing for you to do based on your moral code that you develop and you stick to. You also have the right to say no to yourself. Not only do you have the right, you have the responsibility and the duty to say no to yourself. Sometimes the person you really need to say no to the most is you. So start practicing. Repeat the mantra. It is my body and my brain and my time on earth. And I am in charge of it because I am responsible for it. Nobody else is. Nobody else is going to clean up my mess but me. There are no rights without responsibilities and no responsibilities without rights. As it is your responsibility, so it is your right and your agency and your sovereignty. It's your space. It belongs to you. Say, so this is mine. Depends when the guy who's in charge of it <coughs> changes the price, which you're supposed to do a week ago. But he didn't. I used to have a PA for this. <laughs> You, I don't know who this refers to, but um, okay. Rigorous, unyielding self-honesty. Social media has lonely people sending out hopeful signals. I think we can all agree on that. Club Tropicana, drinks are free. Fun and sunshine, there's enough for everyone. Eerily similar to from each according to his ability and to each according to their needs. George Michael, Marxist. Why would you not ruminate? Why would you not ruminate? It's a very... Who's, maybe you're not ruminating. Maybe you're just traumatised and just reliving the, the trauma of a very painful experience. You're not wrong for feeling this way. Maybe you should think about finding a counsellor online. You could jump on Zoom with them have a chat with them, maybe have two or three sessions and just and just talk through what's happened and uh, and see what they say. It could really help. I don't know what, what country or state you're in, uh, but try and use your favourite search engine and, and do like a um, counselling directory or psychotherapy directory and uh, you can search by the tags for CPTSD. They're very easy to use. They're super easy. These Just put in counselling directory psychotherapy directory who are you looking for man or woman online or face to face what what are the specifics and then ask them ask them don't don't let them bullshit you you know you want to know that uh, they understand like the uh, the 4f responses they understand emotional flashbacks they understand um hijack hit them with the oh so what do you think of judith herman who's judith herman ah Mmm, okay. What about Pete Walker? Who's Pete Walker? Ah, zee, goo woo. She doesn't want help. She wants your attention. She doesn't want help. She just wants your attention. In 30 seconds. No, um, there are some really good interviews uh, that I've done with Sam Backnan about the shared fantasy. And Sam Backnan has videos that are that is about the shared fantasy. So go go into YouTube and search Sam Backman Shared Fantasy. That's the best way, mate. Probably most people are walking around without major trauma. 
But if you reframe the question and said, how many adults do I think wouldn't benefit from therapy? I would say the answer is probably zero. The same way that you would be not managing, you would be looking to resolve CPTSD um, as if you weren't co-parenting. So I have uh, a YouTube channel that's dedicated to that. Yeah, you go, hey, what did you say about me? You talking about me, mate? Come here now, come here now, I want to have a word with you. And then you, as they're turning away, you pull your head back like you're looking at them and you smash them with your foreheads, break the nose. When they cover up their face like, ah, oh, you headbutted me. You smash them with your foot as hard as you can um, in the groin. Man or woman, doesn't matter. The end goal should be to pulverize the uh, pelvic girdle and then stamp through the knee. Uh, they won't do it. Uh, it depends whether you should or not. I don't know whether you should. It depends on the circumstances that you're in. You should be smart. Don't let your ego get in the way. Um, if you do confront them, yes, that could be considered setting a boundary. Could be. With this kind of thing, I don't have a hard rule where I would say like, absolutely, if I knew somebody was talking badly about me at work, I'd confront them. Like some people aren't even worth confronting. It's only work. So it's it's up to you. I don't know what your circumstances are. No, it's not justified. And uh, these social media giants are going to have to make a decision about whether they are publishers or not. They can't be both and neither when it chooses them, when it suits them. They have to make a decision. Meaning they're either responsible for what people say on their platforms or they are not. It's not Schrodinger's flipping cat before the box has opened. They've got to choose. And right now, the way they're acting is, is just outrageous. And Try as a thought experiment to take care of yourself in the way that you would another person for seven days and see what happens.